So hi, hello and welcome, Micro Puncher here and this cheese looks strange, honestly. Uh, there is this strange white stuff on the surface of the cheese and I was kind of worried. Is this mold, are these bacterial colonies, are these fungi, fungal colonies growing on the cheese? Can I still eat the cheese? Well, I decided I'm gonna put the cheese under the microscope to find out if these white dots are indeed fungus or bacterial colonies. After all, the cheese um, is a pretty good and expensive cheese, but you see, if it has become spoiled, then I don't wanna eat it and I have to throw it away. So of course, I there took the cheese and put it directly under the stereo microscope to have a slightly closer look at those white dots. And I was really worried because they indeed looked like bacterial colonies. Uh, one colony, bacterial colony, contains millions of bacteria. They've all grown out of one bacterium and uh, by cell division, we have now a lot of them. Now, there are of course cheeses around like this one over here, which contains fungi um, and over here, camembert, you divide fluffy covering that's also a fungus. So that's normal. So these uh, microorganisms have been added, but then here, this tomato, for example, well, I do not want to eat that. And if you put the mold of a tomato, for example, under the microscope, then you're going to see all of those uh, string-like fuzzy um, structures. And maybe you can also see the spores of, of the fungus. And what I decided to do is, is I'm gonna see if the cheese also contains those uh, fungi. And these here are bacteria. And you see that uh, they are much more regular. Um, they are also uh, quite a bit smaller than the fungi. And if I see those bacteria as well, then I know that these are bacterial colonies and then I have to throw the cheese away. And here again, you can see some of, of the bacteria and I simply included this here as a reference before I put the cheese under the microscope. Yeah, so preparation is pretty easy. Um, I took um, a knife and scratched off a little bit um, of uh, this white material. And then I put uh, this uh, white material, yeah, whatever that might be, directly on um, a microscope slide with a small drop um, of water. And if there are any cells, any bacteria or fungi in there, well, then they're of course going to be now on the microscope slide. I put a cover glass on top and this is now the cheese under the microscope. This is what I saw. And now think back a little bit. Does this look like a fungus or like bacteria? Of course, there are many irregular structures here, but actually it looks very different uh, from my reference pictures. And those little strange structures that you see here, these seem to be indeed fat droplets um, that um, look, start to look like this when they're surrounded by water. So I came to the conclusion, no, those white dots on the surface of the cheese are not a problem and the cheese can be eaten. But of course, this begs the question, well, what are those white dots then? <laughs> what are they? Well, I can tell you that this is not a sign of bad quality, those white dots, but of a good quality cheese. These are crystals of proteins and salt. Okay, so they actually form when this cheese starts to dry up, then those protein and salt crystals start to form on the surface. And when you eat the cheese, then you might also even feel between your teeth the crunchiness of the salt crystals. So this cheese is perfectly safe to be eaten, but you see, it's always a good uh, idea to check first. That's it, people. If you like to see the video with uh, the rotting tomato, well then, here it is. Uh, and uh, happy microbe hunting as always, and see you around next time. Bye-bye.